It seems as though my Hail Mary guess for what this chapter's title meant was actually correct, and Atlantalock is more than just a joke now. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Enemasu, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Blue Lock Chapter 257 Spoilers, titled Two Gun. If you want to stay up to date with Blue Lock or just enjoy the content I push out, please feel free to support me by clicking that subscribe button, commenting below your thoughts, and even consider joining my community Discord or Patreon, which can be found down in the description. Without further ado, everyone please take a seat for this one and put on your protective glasses, because the eclipse is not the only thing that will burn your eyes out today from how beautiful it is. The chapter picks right back up after Hiyori's insane no-look pass towards Isagi, with intro text stating, Yuri's unstoppable streak. The stage is now set for the egoist, take it now Isagi Yoichi. Speaking of which, Isagi is immediately sprint sprinting engaging this pass with his metavision, assuring his sadistic buddy that he will make good on his best pass. Looking back at the ball, Isagi seems to be approaching a triangle of three random PXG defenders. Monologuing in his own mind, he's confident that from here on now, it will be his match and moment to unleash his best. Starting off with a sidestep, Isagi manages to immediately throw the front two defenders off balance, forcing them to react. Just as they do though, Isagi once again changes direction with full momentum, even pushing off the shoulder of the front right defender. He then dashes straight between the gap he's made in the defense, with even one failing to leap in and foul our poor guy here. Scanning around with his metavision though, Isagi then realizes that Shido Ryuze is running just alongside his left. Shido is fully immersed into the flow state here, however with Isagi stating that he's already accounted for this demon, we see him quickly bust out another sidestep, allowing the pass from Hiyori to just continue along its course without a target. Shido is left here confused and complaining, but just as he's asking for an explanation, Kunigami Rensuke arrives from behind him, ready to showcase his absolute best. Leaping into the air with a header to redirect Hiyori's pass, our hero seems to be truly waking up now as he screams to Isagi that they're now even. This play is absolutely phenomenal from both Isagi and Kunigami's side of things, but more than anything, I predicted this and I am so happy to see Kunigami becoming an actual member of Bastard Munich. He's no longer just going to be brooding around the field all emo, as if he was Playboy Cardi on Aiden Ross's stream. This pass has obviously been redirected by Kunigami to go in the direction of Isagi Yoichi, who with now fully black eyes compliments his friend on his now reawakened ego. As always though, Kunigami topples to the ground after touching the ball one single time, causing even his friend to look over and feel a bit bad. Ol Yoichi over here nerds out right in front of the goal, just to explain how unreadable that play was. Since Kunigami has never played for anything more than his own goal, this pass was purely impossible to expect. This is a chemical reaction between the best of both Isagi Yoichi and Kunigami Rinsuke, and with our striker just right outside of the box, he knows it's time to wrap this up. Hitoshi Rain, however, comes sprinting in from behind Isagi with the most demonic look, as it seems like he's not fully in the clear yet. Rain immediately drops his one-liner by calling Isagi lukewarm, asking if he forgot all about the best part of his world, his Pookie Bear. On top of this clown now being on his left, Michael fucking Kaiser then comes in sprinting on his right, acting almost offended that he didn't get an invite to their egotistical slumber party. This man's tweaking out talking about some bandit edition plan that he has to steal possession from Isagi, and meanwhile, our boy just wants to know what the hell is happening. Why in God's name is Bastard Munich and PXG's ace strikers running down this one man? We have a whole page dedicated to his horror, as Isagi realizes that Hitoshi Rin and Michael Kaiser only have their eyes on him. Instead of focusing on the actual important match going on, or I don't know, maybe the situation on the field, these two dipshits are purely focused on crushing Isagi, physically and mentally. Rin and Kaiser's best are literally dependent on their hatred for this one poor boy, which is not only insane, but pathetic in a way. Isagi is now just stuck trying to find a way out of this. He realizes that instead of overthinking like he's literally doing right now, he should instead just figure out how far he is and just bust some moves out right here or come up with something. Both Rin and Kaiser are in his ear too, yapping for him to either shoot or trap the ball. No matter the outcome, they both believe Isagi to be fully hopeless here. Shoot it? Trap it? With my right leg, or maybe my left? How about no? Fully immersing himself into flow and visualizing his two weapons of lefty and dominant right, Isagi just decides to create something entirely new here, or at least kind of. With Isagi pulling back his left leg to seemingly shoot, Rin is sliding in to attempt to block the shot. Meanwhile, Kaiser is betting on this being a trap, so he's lurking like a hyena ready to swipe it away. They both couldn't be more wrong here though, because with Isagi swinging his left leg completely around the top of the ball without touching it, our egoist is ready to truly showcase his best as a striker. Hitoshi Rin is left in terror, meanwhile Kaiser is infatuated with this and even tries to disrupt the midair. No matter though, Isagi Yoichi still rips through with this intense replication of Nagi's previously failed volley fake. 
Even crazier than that, his puzzle pieces have formed themselves into twin glocks for his aura, representing the two-gun, epidextric connection I made for the title. The goalkeeper does try his best, but ultimately Isagi Oichi's shot splashes into the back net, now causing Kaiser to don a surprised reaction. Cutting through multiple defenders, taking out Shido Ryuze, Itoshi Rin, and even the Nugen Michael Kaiser. Isagi Oichi has now tied this match up at 1-1 with an equalizing goal. I just really cannot wait until tomorrow when the officials drop and I can share all of these pages on here, because Isagi's dual glock aura just looks too cold. Atlanta lock is now canon, there's really nothing more to say. Anyways, with that being it for today's leaks, next chapter's title seems to be Merge, Invent, New Weapon. This more than likely just will be a Bastion Munich celebration chapter with PXG baby raging, as Isagi just yaps his mouth for 20 pages about how he created that shot. Overall, I can't blame him though, because letting that pass continue to Kunigami to then find himself free for a pass back, I mean, chef's kiss, Isagi cooked indeed. This is sadly the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, so if you enjoyed all of my yapping and would like to support me, please consider subscribing to the channel, commenting below your thoughts, and check out my Discord and Patreon down below. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's official overview where I can finally show Isagi's twin clocks. I mean, what the hell even is this anymore?